Hello, it's the Collaboration Colonel, and welcome back to some more fun with Microsoft Teams. As you can see, I'm using a cartoon type filter here called Cartoon Style by Snap Inc. So how am I doing this? How am I getting this into my Microsoft Teams meeting session? And how can you do it as well? Well, it's quite simple, and I'm going to guide you through the entire process using a bit of software called SnapCam. It's quite simple. All you're going to need is to meet the minimum requirements and specifications that are listed on their web page, and we'll go through that in a moment, and have access to a decent camera. Now, this is available on PC and Mac OS, which means it doesn't actually run on your iPhone or iPad, unfortunately. But if you're a PC or Mac OS user, then you can have even more fun in your meetings, in your classrooms, or chatting to friends with Microsoft Teams. Let's show you how. So down to business, you want to get yourself over to snapcamera.snapchat.com and take a look at their official site. There'll be a download button right in the center of the screen. Now, if you've got this site, you know you're getting the proper software. There's going to be some system requirements that you're going to have to adhere to, in particularly Windows 10, 64-bit or newer, or Mac OS 10.13 or newer. So have a look at the minimum specifications and make sure your PC or Mac complies to them. Read the licensing agreement if you're in agreement with that, enter in an email and then download the particular item that you're going to need. Once that executable is downloaded, it's time to go through the wizard and it's a standard Windows or Mac wizard to be perfectly honest with you. Click next, decide where you want to install it. I'm going to put it in the default location. Say what you want to call it. Do you want a desktop shortcut? Always a good idea and click on install. Once that's done, you can be ready to get into SnapCam and start configuring. And then the fun really happens. Now, as you can see, I'm in SnapCam after it's successfully loaded. And at the top featured section, you can see the cartoon style filter by Snap Inc. There are several in there as well that the community have, have created as well. You can, you know, raise your eyebrows, turn yourself into a cat. There's lots of other community lenses you can put on. You can say you want to work from home. Um, you can have math equations floating around you. You can put your tie on your head. Oh my God, you can even do some sort of studying filters as well. There's loads that's being created by the community. Even, let's face it, selecting toilet paper, you can give yourself a head full of toilet paper. Anyway, we're here to talk about how to get this working in regards to your meeting software of choice and getting SnapCam set up properly. So let's get cracking. So first off, if you don't see this, um, you have to go into the settings section of uh, SnapCam, which is the little cog wheel up in the top right hand corner. Click on that and you'll see your snap cam settings. Now, to choose your camera, I've got several cameras and I've got some X-Split. Pick your camera of choice, so I'll be using my main camera, which is a HD Pro webcam, C920, so 1080 webcam, which is great. I'll use that, get some good clarity. Choose your camera resolution, and usually given a few resolutions there as well. I'll go for the 1920 by 1080 um, frames per second webcam. So we'll click on that and set your microphone and all the rest of it as well. Uh, and you're good to go. Click on back and that's basically what you're going to see. And when you start selecting all your different filters, like that's me as anime, for example, which I think is quite good, actually. I quite like this. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm torn between this one and with that one, to be perfectly honest. But we're talking about this one, so we're going to stay with this one, right? So what you see here in SnapCam, right, is great. Now, what we need to do is get SnapCam, this feed we're getting here, which is taking the image from your webcam, putting it through a filter in SnapCam into your conferencing software of choice, whether that be Zoom, whether that be Teams, Google Meet, or even sticking it into OBS or Streamlabs OBS. So once you can see this on the screen, you know your configuration in SnapCam is working. Now it's on to 
the bit of software, your conferencing software or streaming software to do the configuration there. So let's go and take a look. So here I am in Microsoft Teams and you can see that in the Microsoft Teams sort of like pre-meeting interface where you can set your background filters, turn your video on or turn your video off, it's already picked up the feed for my Snapcam feed, okay? Because it's looking at my default webcam. Now, if you don't get this, you're going to have to go into the settings option, right? And check out your camera settings. Now, as you can see, it's set to snap camera, which is the feed coming from snap camera. Select that. You can select different feeds as well. Now, if you want to go back to a normal image without snap cam working, right? If you click on that, you'll see it won't. It'll freeze. Now, the reason for that is, is that the feed is still being used by Snapcam. To get it back to a normal image, you're going to have to close Snapcam down completely and exit from the software. Then you're going to have to stop your video and then restart your video. So I'll just demonstrate that. There's my Snapcam icon. We're going to quit that. Great. What we should be able to do now is go into settings. Make sure my webcam is selected. Turn my video on, and here I am, back to normal. Um, dead easy. So in, to ensure that you get your Snapcam feed coming in, make sure you've selected the right feed. Dead easy. And make sure you've selected, and you've got running, Snapcam. You may need to put in and start running it again from the default menu. So it says no camera input available. That's because I'm using it in Microsoft Teams. And that's how it's going to get its knickers in a twist. So turn your video off. Click on Snapcam. Select your input feed. HD Pro Webcam 920. Choose your resolution. I'll go with the 1081. Click back and my feed is back. And now I can start adding, adding and editing any filters I want to put on there. So we're going to go with, I think, perhaps the anime style now. And there I am in full anime goodness. And it's that easy. So have fun with it. That's more fun with Microsoft Teams using Snapcam by Snap Inc. And using the filter called Cartoon Style or Anime Style as well. There's two really good ones there. And as you can see, I'm going to add those to my favorites because they really are good. Have fun with it. Let me know in the comments section how you get on and what people think of what you've done with your time. I'll see you soon.